Hey friends, what's up? For those of you that don't know me, my name is Chrisanna, and if you're new here, then welcome. And if you're an oldie, welcome back. So guys, in today's video, we have a brand new palette to test out by ColourPop, and I'm so excited. This is the ColourPop times the Muppets eyeshadow palette. So here is what the packaging looks like. Look how freaking cute this is. And then here is the back. So this retails for $26 on Ulta's website, which is a pretty steep price, but this palette, you guys, is so freaking cute. So here is what the palette itself looks like. Then again, here is the back. So here is all the Muppets on the front. My daughter watches this show, so she was super excited about this palette. And here are what all the shades look like. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in. I think we're gonna be doing two looks for today's video. I'm gonna take the Beauty Crop Stuck On You eyeshadow base. So there was a whole PR box that came out with this collection. It had some super shock shadows, some blotted lips, and maybe a few other things. And I think that was around like $104, but you guys, I have so much makeup and I didn't even wanna get this eyeshadow palette, but it was just super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one eye at a time. I've actually really been enjoying this eyeshadow primer. I got it in BoxyCharm a couple months ago. I am no longer subscribed to BoxyCharm, but that's a topic for another day. I usually would set down lids, but we're just gonna leave it as is because when you use regular eyeshadow primers, I don't think you're really supposed to set them down with powder. So I think we're gonna use the mauve tones and maybe the green or the blues. Let's go ahead and start with a mauve tone look first. Just because I do mauve looks all the time and I know exactly how to create them really well. I'm first gonna take this shade right here and this is called Hot Holidays. Taking this on a Sigma E40 blending brush. This palette does not have a mirror, but I think a mirror would have been really nice. So I'm just gonna start taking this and blending it right through the crease. Okay, this is a really nice pink shade. It's definitely a little more pink on the eye than it looks in the pan. Okay, so I think we're good for that shade. We're gonna go ahead and take the deeper shade now. Okay, so the deepest matte in this row is called Celebrate in Style. And it's right here. Switching brushes to the BH number eight brush, so it's a small blending brush. I just now realized I'm like really far back. I need to move up just a little bit. So I'm gonna take Celebrate in Style and I'm gonna pack it right along the outer portion here. Okay, so I'm only gonna bring this shade about halfway into the crease. I'm gonna go back in with the first shade, Hot Holidays. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend out these edges. I thought I was going to get like a more mauve toned look out of this eye look, but the shades are definitely more pink and purple than they are like brown mauve tones. I cleaned off the little BH brush and now I'm just going to lightly try to blend out this edge. Okay, so we're only going to use those two matte shades and now we're going to go ahead and add the shimmers. I'm going to take my Morphe M124 brush, so it's a flat brush. And we're going to take this shade Celebrate Moi. Really excited about this shade. It looks so pretty in the pan. Okay, so it looks like it picked up really well on my brush. Oh, this is so pretty. This is a duochrome. So in the pan, it looks pink, but on the eyes, it looks green. That is really, really pretty. So I feel like now that this shade is actually green, I'm not really sure how the next shimmer shade is gonna go. Let's go ahead and try it out. So the next shade is called Peace on Earth. It's this one right here. I think a lot of these shades are actually going to be duochrome, so I'm taking the same brush. Just go ahead and apply it right here. I feel like this eye look is so much more colorful than I thought it was going to be. I don't know, I'm not like hating it, but it's not what I was expecting at all. Which is kind of nice because I feel like I always do the same type of eye look, so it's nice to do something different. I mean, it's definitely a strange eye look, I'll give it that. Um, I wiped off the brush. Now I'm just going to go ahead and blend these two shimmers together. And we're just going to kind of pop some more of this right here and blend it out. And just very lightly, I'm going to go right up above the shimmers. Okay, so this is what look number one is looking like. I'm curious to see if it looks like a pink shade on the eye or if it looks green to you guys. Let's go ahead and do the lower lash line. Quick. I'm going to take the shade Hot Holidays and I'm just going to smoke this right here. Now with a really skinny brush, I'm gonna take Celebrate in Style, which was the deeper matte. And with this shade, I'm gonna tuck this as close to the lash line as I can get it. Okay, so there is look number one and it is complete. I will do liner lashes and all that good stuff at the end. But first, let's go ahead and start working on a look number two. So for look number two, I'm kind of stuck because in the blue row, there's only one deep blue matte shade. And then in the green row, I feel like the green shimmer is darker than the green matte shade. So I don't know how that's going to work. Okay, let's go in with the green row. We're just going to give it a try and see. So I'm first going to take this shade right here called Holiday Party Time. She kind of reminds me of eggnog. Do you guys like eggnog? Let me know down in the comment section below. So this is a very pale shade, so we're not really going to see it on the lid. 
So there's actually somewhat two green matte shades. So the first one up here has like specks of glitter in it. So I don't know if I'm going to use that one yet. I didn't take the darker one first. Let's grab the dark green matte shade and this is called Being Green. I actually like that name a lot. But we're just going to go ahead and pack this shade pretty much all like along the outer V and then into the crease. So this green is really nice and it is super pigmented and it's exactly the same shade that it is in the pan. So I'm going to leave it as is and then we're going to take the lighter green shade and this is called Frazzled. So this looks like it has some specks of glitter in it, but I think once we apply it to the eyes, it's going to be pretty much a matte shade. I've noticed that ColourPop always has at least one of those shades in their palettes. Okay, this picked up a ton of product. So let's go ahead and just start blending this out. And it's honestly a perfect eye look for the shirt I'm wearing today. Okay, you can definitely see some of the glitter in there, but it's not like super bad. Like it's not really noticeable. So I do feel like the lighter green is way more of a yellow than it is a green shade, especially on the eyes. I'm going to go back in with the deep green shade called Being Green. And this time I'm going to lightly start blending this shade upwards just to kind of help everything blend together. Now we're going to take the green shimmer shade and I am super excited for this. It looks gorgeous and I think it might actually be a glitter shade. So it's this one right here and this is called Festive. Still taking on the Morphe M124 brush. Let's go ahead and see how it applies or picks up with a brush. So it picked up a little bit with the brush. Let's go ahead and apply. I was worried that this shade would be like much darker than the matte shade, but I think it's going to go together really well. Ooh, yeah, that looks really, really good. Okay, so it's definitely a glitter shade, and I'm not sure if it's the eyeshadow or if it's the primer that I had on, but the more that I apply and the more that I move my brush around, it's kind of starting to take it off. Okay, I'm going to grab my finger, and I'm going to apply some right here. Okay, yeah, it applies so much better with my finger. Okay, now I'm debating, like, do I want to put another shimmer shade right here or do I want to leave it as is? So we have a bronzy toned shade. This is called Ice to See You. So it's this one right here, but I don't know if I want to put that up against the green. I just don't know if it would look right. I just want to be careful what kind of shimmer shade I want to add because if I add one that's too dark, it's not going to look right on the outer V. Let's just go ahead and leave the green eye as it is. I'm going to pick up some more of the glitter shade and I'm going to bring it over a little bit farther. But what I am going to do is I'm going to take this light shade right here and this is called Icy Patch. I'm going to try this with my brush. It's like another glitter shade. And I'm going to apply this right here in the center right over top of the green. Ooh, that looks really, really pretty. Ooh, I like that a lot. That looks so freaking pretty. Oh my God, I love that. Especially with the green and that shade together, it looks really good. I'm gonna go back into the green shade called Being Green, which was the matte one. And I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of stamp this out. Also blending very lightly right up here. Okay guys, so I think both eye looks are pretty much done and I absolutely love the green side. I think it looks so good. Okay, let's go ahead and do the lower lash line really quick. So I'm first going to go back in with Frazzled. I'm going to do the same thing we did on the other side, applying this one first. And then I'm going to grab Bean Green, which was the darker matte green. And again, I'm just going to tuck this right here. Okay, so really quickly, I'm going to add liner, lashes, and then I'll be right back and we can do lips together. Okay, guys, so here are both eye looks done. And honestly, with mascara, I feel like I really like them both. Of course, I love the green better just because I feel like everything is more cohesive on this side. But I think this side is really pretty too. If you guys have been wondering why I haven't been wearing false eyelashes lately, the main reason is, is because they ruin my real lashes. They irritate my eyes. Like if I put false lashes on, I can only wear my makeup for like an hour and they just get so irritated. My eyes get red. So then I just have to take them off anyways. Whereas when I wear mascara, I can wear mascara all day and it doesn't bother me. And also I've been using eyelash serum and my real lashes are finally starting to grow, which makes me really happy. But then again, it makes me not want to wear false lashes because I feel like my real lashes are actually getting long. Let me know what you guys think about it. Do you guys think I should start wearing false lashes again for like every makeup look and every video? I still wear them. I just don't wear them every single time I do my makeup. And honestly, they take forever too. It takes me like 10, sometimes 15 minutes to apply them, which is a long time. Okay, so I have this ColourPop, the big box of lippy sticks, and I want to go with a red lip today. But then I have this lipstick that I have separate from this box. This is in the shade Trust Me. This is a matte X formula. So I think we're going to use this because this is like a really pretty red shade. Swatch it. 
And then for a lip liner, I also have this one by ColourPop. This is in the shade Bossy. I don't know if this is going to be like super red. Oh yeah, I think they'll be a great match. So we're going to go ahead and use these two. Okay, I'm going to take the lip liner in Bossy. I suck at applying red lip liner, so let's see how this goes. I just feel like red lip liners are not as forgiving when it comes to like cleaning them up and getting a smooth line. And I feel like if you don't get a smooth line, you can definitely tell. Okay, yeah, that lip line is horrible, but I don't think I want to take it back off. I'm going to leave it as is. I'll go ahead and clean it up with some concealer when I'm done. Now I'm going to take the lipstick in the shade Trust Me. Ooh, very, very pretty shade. Yeah, that's a very pretty shade. I like that a lot. And I also have this gloss. This is from the Wet n Wild Stitch Collection, and this is in the shade let's rock but it is a really pretty sparkly red shade let me go ahead and clean up this lip line and then we're going to add the lip gloss that's about as good as it's going to get i don't have time to keep messing with it add a little bit of the gloss just a little bit mm, this smells so good so we need to be able to see the shimmer but i actually don't see like any shimmer at all okay let me go ahead and swatch this palette and then i'll kind of give you my final thoughts on everything so how I'm going to do this is I'm going to go row by row. I just want to say that some of the shimmers in this palette are ColourPop's original creamy, buttery shimmer formula. And then other ones are almost like shimmer toppers. And then there's also glitters in the palette. So here are what all of these shades look like swatched. Look at that beautiful blue shade. So pretty. I really like this palette and I like the overall theme and the color story. I would definitely give this 10 out of 10 stars. I think it's a great holiday palette. So I only did two looks on YouTube, but I'll do another two looks over on TikTok. So if you're not following me over there and you want to see more looks with this palette, go ahead and give me a follow. And if you guys do follow me on TikTok and you come from YouTube, let me know on one of my videos and I'll follow you back. I'm going to give you guys a close up of the two eye looks. So let me know what you guys thought about the eye looks. Do you like the green one better or do you like this one better? I don't know what I would call this one. I guess it is kind of like a mobby tone eye look, but I'm not 100% sure. What do you guys think? If you guys ended up liking this video, please be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. If there's anything at all that you guys want to see next, please let me know. And yeah, guys, other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.